The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. Was Yoda responsible for the Jedi Order's failings? So um, the thing about the uh, Jedi Order is that um, not everybody liked them, right? So if you remember the episode in the Clone Wars, someone actually, it's Barriss Offee, actually bombs uh, the Jedi Temple. And of course, we had the Lost 20, which was referenced in the prequel trilogy, Jedi Masters who voluntarily buggered off out of the Jedi, right? And Count Dooku was obviously one of them. So if the Jedi Order is such a fantastic, benevolent organization, why are they having a few sagas? Why are they having a few issues? And uh, now there's a lot to be discussed on this, but we're going to keep it relatively simple. And the theory that I we came up with in one of our discussions is that Yoda's been training for Jedi for 800 years, right? So he's makes, he makes a point of that. And part of the whole thing of being a Jedi is you can't have connections, you can't have friendships, you can't have uh, relationships, all that sort of stuff. You've got to live the life of a monk. So who's to say that when he was, he was a young dude, a young, little young green dude, he didn't get connected with somebody, right? Have a relationship with somebody and then end badly or a friendship that ended badly or something like that. And he, because he was so strong in the force, kind of cracked the shits and ended up heading down the dark path. And then he realized, shit, that's not the way to go. Oh, we can't have that. This is dangerous stuff. So then he, because he's obviously older than anybody else in the Jedi Order, puts in the in the in the in the doctrine for the Jedi Order: no friendships, no relationships, no possessions. Right? Because he doesn't want uh, what he experienced to happen to anybody else. And of course, as the generations roll on, people just take it as for granted. You join the Jedi Order as a child, you do that because that way you've got no preconceived ideas as to about what life is. And as a consequence, we can actually mould you into the way that we want. And that means you get used to the fact you live the life of a monk, just like Qui-Gon does. Uh, not Qui-Gon, uh, Obi-Wan does. And that really does make a lot of sense. So Yoda, in other words, he's moulded the Jedi Order to cover up for what he ha almost happened to him back in the day. And when you look at it from that perspective, it works because if you did have relationships, friendships, and all the rest of it, then you do leave yourself open to anger, jealousy, aggression, yada, yada, yada. You know, imagine you're a Jedi Knight. Your friends are Jedi Knight, and you're both after the same Jedi chick, and there's a bit of a three threesome sort of going on there in terms of the, the tension. It doesn't end well. The problem is they took it to extremes, right? And connections with people is basically what human what life is about, right? You're not meant to lead a solitary existence. So when someone dies and they say, or your friend dies, I'll oh, mourn them, do not miss them, do not. It's like, well, you can't do that. That's suppressing all your emotion. And if you do that, eventually it's going to explode. And so that's possibly why some people said, no, the Jedi Order's got issues. I can't handle it anymore. I want to go out and buy that ultra-rare collectible. I want to go out and take that girl on a date. It doesn't uh, necessarily end well for everybody. So, And on top of all that, just quickly before I get to the comments, uh, the key thing is that even in the Clone Wars, it's pointed out that the Jedi Order are seen as an elite group because you can't just join them, right? You can't just walk in one day and go, can I please be a Jedi Knight? No, 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 it doesn't work that way. So uh, not everybody is a fan of the Jedi Order because they're a bit of a, uh, you know, got this, got, got this gigantic temple on Coruscant. You can't join them if you don't want, if you, if, even if you wanted to. And uh, for that reason, everybody thinks they're a bit uh, snobbish, if you will. So there you go. How about that one? Um, here we go. The Jedi became bureaucratic and fought up got emotional health. Yeah, exactly right. So, and I think a lot of that all started with Paul Yoda. So Yoda had a bit of a moment back in his past. He said, right, this is how it's going to be from now on. And, of course, it just followed on uh, throughout the generations because the key thing, and this actually happens in real life, if you have a really, really, really long lifespan, the problem is you end up outliving everybody, right? You outlive your friends, your family, and then they get replaced and then you outlive them again. And so it probably makes sense that uh, from his perspective and Yoda's perspective, he doesn't want to have connections with anyone because he knows that uh, you get too attached to someone and they pass away to, because you've outlived them. And uh, you're not happy about it. So there you go. How about that? Uh, Anakin told Padme, then Jedi were encouraged to love. Yeah, he sort of twisted the words a little bit. There's love and there's love, but not love a person because clearly they don't go for attachments and all the rest of it and uh, relationships and all this sort of thing. I mean, his relationship with Padme was illegal, effectively. And she even said you're going to get kicked out of the Jedi Order. So he twisted the words, all right? So uh, he found a loophole that wasn't there, and that's the reason why he couldn't even tell the Jedi Order, oh, I've hooked up with the senator, and they're going to say, no, nah, you're going to get kicked out of the Order. It's like, yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world to deal with. And, of course, because he joined later as a, as a child, they didn't, like, brainwash him, if you will, into saying relationships are a bad thing. So, as I said, there's a lot more you can discuss, and believe me, as I said earlier, hundreds of hours discussing this sort of stuff with other people, and it's absolutely spectacular. So... 
Love it. Uh, but if the force runs in the families, is Grogu Yoda's child? Not necessarily, but it could be. Uh, that's something that hasn't been touched on. Um, the thing about the Yoda species is we do not know how they procreate. Now, there's three of them at the moment, right? So you've got Yoda, Yaddle, which everybody forgets about from the Phantom Menace, and Grogu. You do not know how they procreate. So it is not beyond the realms of a possibility that Yoda has an offspring. However that occurs, it might happen naturally. You know how like some, was it lizards or whatever, can sort of be both sexes at the same time and all this sort of thing? It's certainly possible, right? But they're not hinting at anything. So... Uh, Yes, exactly right. But it's a good theory. And if they did do it that way, that would be kind of cruel. Kind of cool. So there you go.